you see, you got the, I, I had the number, you see that number here, it was cut, I fell down on a stone, mm -hmm. but this is my 82,539. I grew up, I was born in Poland. In Poland, in what year? In 1925. There was no question. My family was strictly Jewish. But Hebrew was a private language and I, the major, my town was religious and people were religious and I, my father did not wanted me to go into a Jewish school but into a Hebrew school okay. and I finished Hebrew school I didn't finish, I went to a private teacher who was very good. First, he, he came to town with his soldiers. Mm -hmm. The soldiers were taught that the Jews are keen, killing and they're and that they take everything, everything that is impossible to comprehend. Mm -hmm. And he described the Jew as a murderer. Really? And they, people believed it. You get onto the train and they're taking you to Auschwitz. As, as the trains opened, they were, you know, where they, uh, how, how they load trains, where there is, there is animals that cows or yeah. that's yeah. how they, we had not. No work, no, we were standing and peep and in the heat. It is impossible to describe because you know what it is impossible for me to believe that I lived, that anybody could live on and live through it. Mm -hmm. the, Hitler's helper, mm -hmm. and he looked at you, you had to go down the steps from and straight into the, to take, a, supposedly to take a shower. Most of the time, what happened, you couldn't go any place else but that straight way and that straight way led you to a shower where the water was supposed to come. What it came, it came gas. Gas. And that's how he would kill people. And the, the gas the gas killed people. They couldn't breathe mm -hmm. and they and what happened they were so many in them piles standing mm -hmm. that they had no room to fall down. Really? They one was falling against the other. Because it was that crowded that in there. Crowded yeah. in there.
they brought a, 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 like a garbage can with hot soup from the kitchen mm -hmm. and they told us to stay in line and they beat us on our heads. The one, you had to stay in line to get some soup, mm -hmm. but they were allowed not to beat us when we came to stay in line. Mm -hmm. And that was every day. Once a day, the main, that was the soup. And once a day was in the morning coffee. Coffee. That was black water. Yeah. It was just, you should see skin. Did you see any pictures that they showed? Did you see? I, yeah, I've, I've seen pictures of people. They just look very skin, skin like, like skeletons. Skin and bone. Skin and bone, yeah. That's what it was. That's what we were. I didn't see any of my mother or father anymore. All I knew is that they not, they're not alive. We never, we don't have nobody, but we never buried anybody. We never saw anybody put into the ground. Ground. What is the? Uh, what should you know very well that when you see somebody putting down the grave, then you know he's dead. I had an, an uncle here in Chicago that was my father's brother. Mm. And I got married and I came here with a, my husband and a two-year-old daughter. Can I tell you? It's not possible that we've made it.